Okay, this next system of measure requires a horizon line drawn first. So let's go ahead and start with that. All right, there's our horizon line. Next, we want to find a vanishing point out here. We'll find this somewhere right around here. So this is VP1 on our HL horizon line. And then I'm going to draw two lines coming from the vanishing point that represent parallel lines going back into space and doing what's called converging. Next, I'm going to draw another horizontal line running parallel or close to parallel, hopefully parallel, with our horizon line. And then I'm going to take this length right here. I'm going to measure it. Hopefully this will fit on our page. Go back to the vanishing point and measure this out twice. Once, twice. And this is the point that we're looking for over here. That's called our diagonal measuring point, DMP. We're going to go from this point to this point. We're going to run our diagonal line through those two points. And where this line and this line converge here represents the back edge of our box. So what we will have drawn is a perfect square in perspective as it's fading back into space. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the length of this forward edge which is two inches. And actually, while I'm here, I'm gonna do one more thing. I'm gonna measure out half inch increments along this edge. So it's two inches. I'm gonna run this line vertically from this corner up our page to our two inch point here. And then I'll do the same thing over on this side from the baseline of our forward edge up the page. Draw a line through these two top corners, our top line. And now we have a perfect square drawn, and we have a perfect square going back into space, which basically means we have the beginnings of a perfect cube. Connect these two points, connect these two points. Now we have the top surface of our cube. All we have to do now is run two more parallel lines up our page, here and here, and that helps us represent the back plane of our box. And one more horizontal line across here, parallel with our horizon line. And we have now built a perfect cube. The next thing I want to do is I want to take these three points here and run those back into space to our vanishing point. Very lightly. So we're going to have a lot of lines drawn here. And where they cross over this diagonal, I'm going to run a horizontal line through the diagonal. Once, twice, which I kind of missed that point there. And then the third one here. And what I've done is I've created a square unit grid, so a four by four grid on the ground plane. And then those could easily be projected up the walls. So if I were to take this side wall over here and run a diagonal from the top back corner to the bottom forward corner, and then run these three lines, and run those vertically up the side wall. One, two, three, and then where they cross the diagonal, here, here, and here, I'll run those back to our vanishing point. Here, here, and finally here. And now I have another grid line over here. So I could basically do this with all the sides of this box until the whole thing is gridded off. And then I have a perfect cube with smaller square units of measure over the surface of it. So basically, I've measured out the space so I can draw things inside of this and measure them within that pictorial space because I have a perfect floor plan now and a perfect wall plan that are square units of measure. So this is the one-point perspective perfect cube. Mm -hmm.